Nevada Virtual Academy, welcome back. Problem number 15, M, N, and P are three consecutive positive odd integers such that M is less than N, which is less than P. If their sum is 45, what is the value of M, P? Okay, what should we do? Well, let's start with what is given to us, right? Three consecutive positive odd integers okay can you guys tell me some odd integers positive right positive obviously well if you go with just odd integers you have what one three five seven and so on okay we need consecutive odd integers and they're already given here to you consecutive positive odd integers what do you guys notice in here? To move from 1 to 3, I'm adding what? I'm adding 2. From 3 to 5, I'm adding 2. From 5 to 7, I'm adding 2. So if I will have a, um, you know, a, an integer m, how can I get to the next consecutive odd integer? What do I need to add to that m? I need to add a 2 right and I'm getting the next one which is n to move from n to the next one p I will add 2 right basically if I'm trying to use n as the variable for my integers well m will be equal to what to n minus 2 right that will be my m in terms of n. If I want to find p in terms of n, well, all I have to do will be to add 2 to my n, and that gives me the next consecutive odd integer after n will be n plus 2. Okay? And definitely n minus 2 is less than n, which is less than n plus 2. What is the next fact? Well, their sum is 45. <clears throat> what is the sum? m plus n plus p equals 45. But for n, I have what? n minus 2. So I have n minus 2 plus n plus p. But p is what? n plus 2 plus n plus 2 equals 45. Okay? Well, combining your like terms and simplifying this expression on the left, you guys will notice that minus 2 plus 2 cancels out. Then I have n plus n plus n, which gives me 3n, and that is 45. Are we done? Well, I think we're pretty much done, because now you can find your middle term, n, as being what? 45 divided by 3. You divide here by 3 on both sides, right? Your n equals 15 well I found my middle term but the question is asking me to find what is the product of MP so next thing you're gonna find what is your M M will be what well M is n minus 2 which makes my M equal to what 13 what is your P equal to well P is n plus 2 which will be 17 okay and now to find my MP product MP would be 13 times 17 okay and we know this is um, definitely something that's greater than 200 you don't, you don't even have to multiply these two numbers just look at your last two digits 3 and 7 3 times 7 would be 21 right so I know my number should definitely end in 1, and the only option I have in here will be D, but you can check, right? 13 times 17, 7 times 3, 21, 7 times 1, 7 plus 2, 9, right? 1 times 3, 3, 1 times 1, 1. If you add them up, you have what? 1, 9 plus 3, 12, 1 plus 1, 221. Okay, and this is one way 
in which you can answer a similar question on the proficiency exam, SAT, or ACT. I hope you guys got it. Thank you.